Hello and welcome back to episode number two of Lamplighter's League. My name is Iken and today we're continuing Lamplighter's League blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It's time for our first run, the trial run in India, where we need to destroy a generator. So, it's going to be interesting. Our fights were not as clean as we wanted it to be. No wonder if we play it for the first time or, well, one first time with an asterisk i played like two missions uh, so far but i vaguely or distinctively remember that you gotta uh, really uh, be careful because the missions are actually becoming quite difficult so let's jump into it and see how we're doing good time for us to get going uh, we need to destroy a generator stay put Good. What are we dealing with? Uh, this oh, new enemies. Scourges move quickly to stun and overwhelm their enemies. Fanatics willing to die for the banished court and its magisters. Acolyte ceremonial daggers are razor sharp, and they're dedicated. Good. Melee and the other ones are kind of close shock troopers, or like rangers in XCOM. No. Please. Come on. Still fighting with uh, the controls instead of with the enemies. If you're double clicking on yourself, that calls all of your friends. That's not a good implementation People just don't pay attention. I could steal the eyeliner off your eyes. Wait, 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 that is not too bad. We should actually put it uh, there. Nice. Where are the remaining shots? I had four shots. I feel betrayed. All right, one, two, three, and four. Let's try this again. One and two. <laughs> Eddie is good. I like him. Good. Moving all the way up to here. And let's deal some damage. Oh, that works well. Ingrid. Good question. Let's move her over to here. And then no give her an, a self-evasion. So these two do have evade, which means we have a little bit more defense against all of the enemies that are incoming and holy moly that's a lot okay more enemies are shocked i like it i think we need to reload 
And I think since they are going to charge in, First we sign of movement. are just going to overwatch. <laughs> Blindness. Very good. And... Shall we overboard or shall we... Hmm. Good question. You know what? Now that they are blinded, might as well use the decoy. It's not a bad timing for it. Good. I very much hope they are going to go for the decoy. Uh, no, I don't want to be dazed. I want stick and move, which is move in. I like our odds a bit better now. Nice little hit. Move out. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, the trap works so well. We're moving over here, getting dodge as a bonus. And let's get her down. Fantastic. I think... We may be able to get both of them in one turn. Hit this guy. And... Hit her. Very good. Very good. In which case, let's put an evasion on ourselves. Let's also reload. I think that engagement went uh, remarkably well. Potentially my best engagement so far. Hope I'm not going to jinx it by saying that. They are a melee combatant, so with our dodge we will be able to avoid their first attack. Uh, still overwatch. There's no time to waste. Good, we're waiting for them. There we go, first hit into evasion. Very nice. That's a shot. And a solid reload. Reloading. Still need to become a bit better with my ammunition. But we haven't received any major damage, really. That was a clean fight if there has ever been one. No time to waste. We cannot pick up the smoke bomb because we do have bandages and I think I am going to stick with the bandages at the moment. They are a crutch for beginners and 
Although we haven't taken any damage, I am still considering myself to be a beginner in this game. Good, more enemies are coming. I wasn't aware that that was a thing. Yep, unfortunately it is a thing. Move up. And a nice little overwatch. Ingrid is going to quote unquote tank this by just moving to here. It doesn't really matter, they don't have ranged attacks. And Eddie is moving back. Our Overwatch situation with them has worked very well in the past. So I'm just trying to repeat a winning formula. Nice try. Gotcha. Oh yeah, now winning formula definitely works. There we go. And Eddie moves up. It's only once, which is a bit disappointing. Got the job to finish. Let's go. Cool. Well, I don't know where these two goons were coming from, but uh, the nice part about it is if uh, they have engaged with us, then clearly they will not be in the next area. We're picking up supplies left and right, that's good, because that'll give us new toys to play with once we're done here. Sit tight. Um, Eddie, could you not... I'll uh, just stay there. Not Not bad. Very nice. I'll Good. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's a lot of enemies right there. We're getting more bandages. Yeah, I can use this. But we're also getting more supplies. Unfortunately, our uh, pre-fight ultimate with Eddie is off the table. How do we approach this? I think if Eddie comes up, no, Eddie cannot come up there because Eddie cannot climb. Recruited from the disillusioned masses, enforcers impose the banished court's will with semi-automatic rifles and satchel charges. The most numerous of all the court's forces, but no less. Damn it. That was not going according to plan. Not at all. We got a couple of explosives uh, that are possible.
Got a distraction there, which is good. What is not good is uh, the amount of enemies that have put uh, all of a sudden shown up. So time for an ultimate. Followed by a nice little light them up. One, two, three, four. Damn it, Eddie! You absolute machine! Good, that's one down. Thanks to Eddie. Not enough to get that guy down. So we'll blind him. Okay, very good. Free movement over to here, into push kick, into the wall, for a knockdown. Good. So that's mainly crowd control. The blind is a 50% miss chance, unfortunately only that. Oh. We are seeing plenty of reinforcements, aren't we? Good, where can we position ourselves to not blow ourselves up? Hmm, I'll think about it. Not seeing anything that immediately strikes me at the moment. We are forced to reload. Eddie just doesn't have enough ammunition anymore. That's the problem. One hit, two hit wonder. to get this guy down. And unless we're critically hitting, that's not going to happen with just one hit. So unfortunately, got to take two. And now we have way too many enemies over here. We have dodge and evasion. Won't do that. Won't do that because it's a chain reaction. Might be able to do that. Um think we just need to deal damage. I practiced. Finally some competence. It's 
bit of a waste of an ultimate, but what can you do? I don't want them to push in. Even if he's blind, oh, that's still a problem. So we're going to take quite a bit of damage here. Ouch. Yep, there's the damage I was predicting. Uh, it's too good to not do that, even though we're going to hurt ourselves a little bit. There's the evasion. And this will be a chain disaster, knocking ourselves down, but we have very much disabled a lot of the enemies. Killer Instinct. into stick and move that blinds her get a bonus movement action moving up and we want to get away from her so that she cannot fully exercise all of her melee attacks. Good hits. Cool. Well, sometimes you got to take one for the team, and uh, that's exactly what Jarif has done here. One. Two. And we have one enemy remaining. Plus, we can nicely control him, which means we're moving to here, push kicking him into the obstacle. And Eddie is moving up. Wrong side, my friend. A challenge! That's all I ask! That's eat him up for you, kid. Don't forget it. Cool. Well. There. Now, where was I? We got her ourselves a nice uh, little fight. A souvenir. So before we're moving on, I would like to heal up. I, I think it is the end of the mission, but I'm not sure if the whole stress level decreases uh, once you do have healed. Because all of the agents do have that little bar on top of uh, their head which really indicates how much uh, stress they are experiencing. If the stress is too high, then that's a problem. 
There was another medkit um, on the other rooftop, but I think we're going to find additional supplies here that? as well. What do you think this generator does? Don't know, but it looks like it's leaking. I could steal the eyeliner off your eyes. Huh, the undrawn hat. Through. Cool, well that would have been another option just to get uh, through here. We got all of uh, the mad kids back and we're more or less healed, so I feel comfortable with uh, where we currently are. This time my pre-engagement uh, worked a lot better. So I think that was the biggest problem in the very first mission. Not being able to really engage properly, but this time it worked much, much better. This way. Uh, how do we disable it? Does sabotage mean just destroy it? Gotta get out of here quick. Okay, well it means exactly right that. Way. Coolio. That's that. Marcho's generator is scrapped. Now let's get out of here. I guess this sets back the bandit sports plan for the tower. Damn it. Ask Locke if you're so curious. Me? I'd rather get rich than get wise. Cool. Destroy the generator and we are done. We also got a couple of extra points to invest and we got supplies, which we can apparently trade in for items and gear. I wonder what that is. I hope we can get really nice upgraded gear. And we got six skill points on top of it. Plus a card. The Undrawn Hand reveals a new fate. After each mission, the Undrawn Hand etches agent's experience into one blank card, plays the cards on the agent's tableaus, changes the way they fight. So we got abduction. After suffering st a stress break, the agent deals 25% uh, more damage for the rest of the mission. The Shield Maiden buff ability targets the teammate, uh, takes 30% less damage for two rounds. I think the Shield Maiden is uh, not too bad for uh, Jarif. An abduction? Hmm. Good question. Might as well be a passive ability for uh, Ingrid because her biggest problem is she doesn't deal enough damage to actually kill enemies. Eddie on the other hand, really good. It's done, Mr. Locke. Mr. Marteau's generator is a smoldering wreck. No sign of Marteau himself though. A shame. I was hoping to get a look at the great American industrialist. Be glad he wasn't there. Marto Industries makes a ton of stuff, but it's their weapons division that keeps the lights on. And I hear old Trace personally field tests his prototypes. But your sabotage set back his operations. My informants have confirmed it. Yeah, that'll keep him out of the tower. Though I'm still unclear on the how- I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Try it, why don't you? At the top of the tower, at its crown, sits an energy source greater than anything else on Earth. If any of the three court scions got their hands on it, there'd be nothing they couldn't do. 
This power is both dangerous and unstable, and taking control of it requires preparation. My informants are tracking the court's progress, and they grow closer by the day. That is why your sabotage missions are so critical. They buy us the time we need to reach the tower before the court can complete their preparations and set their plans in motion. But we can't hold off the court and find the tower at the same time. I need more agents. Who and where, Mr. Locke? There are two, each in different parts of the world. One is a combat medic, Anna Sophia Rodriguez. The other, an assassin who goes by Celestine. Both are on the court's bad side. Specifically, the court's third leader, Wolfram Strum. It's taken me months of searching to find them. And now, with Strum bearing down, we only have time to rendezvous with one of them, not both. Fortunately, extracting one agent should buy the other enough time to slip Strum's notice until we can find her. The details of both women's whereabouts are here on the map. Good. Well, we do have the decision whom we want to rescue. I've already made my decision because uh, I like the idea of the combat medic. Uh, Celestine is uh, the um, is uh, the assassin, but Anna Sophie, I think, is the combat medic. Before we're going into that, though. Let's take a good look at what we can do with our supplies. We don't have any accessories, we don't have any armor, we don't have any weapon mods. Um, do we have the option? No, we don't even have pocket items. What can we do with supplies? Looking Let's see what the supplier has in stock. Bandages, we already have that. Flash bomb, um, debuff, applies marked and blinds everyone. Smoke bomb. Creates a smoke, minus 25% hit chance and crit chance, and firebomb creates a burning hazard in the area. That looks quite nice, um, but I think we're just going with our bandages at the moment. So, the other thing is uh, skills. We do have seven new points. I wrongly assumed we had uh, the good old bladestorm but we don't and we could invest six into into ingrid getting killer instinct two passive ability upon killing ingrid gets one ap and it can now trigger thrice around i think that is really really good and this here is a passive melee overwatch ability so we're going to take those two going deeper into ingrid's tree that however comes at the expense of the other two not getting as much love but i think that's okay for now ingrid uh, is going very deep into uh, the uh, tree i can see also it's interesting like if i am skilling on that level no, mm -mm, never mind. It is 1, 2, 4, 8, 6, uh, 12. Uh, yeah, well, we just gotta save up a little bit more points, I guess. In terms of next abilities, melee overwatch 2 isn't bad. The plus 4% damage is actually quite nice. Um, for 2 points, which is relatively cheap, we might um, get a uh, speed upgrade from her passive as well as uh, more damage and that's really what we need a little bit more damage so that she can trigger her onslaught more often uh, we could also upgrade the push kick i really like that one uh, so now pushes the target back three tiles which might not be too bad so the question is do we want to have two blade storms per round or do we want push kick um, in a better form i don't know yet we need to uh, we need to see then it's onslaught time right um, and this here is great. Six hit points, four damage, one uh, speed. Speed, I think, is going to be quite essential for her because um, we want to make sure that she's not wasting too much time in just running. And finally, the killer instinct number three. That's where we want to be. And of course, upgraded weapons. So that's kind of the build. 
Femme Fatale, passive ability, reduces cooldowns by one. Mm -hmm. More often push kick, that's actually not too bad. I think that is good and more damage. Good. I think that's it uh, for us uh, today. Uh, we successfully managed to go through the second mission. I thank you for watching. If uh, you want to support Lamplighter's League, leave a comment and a like down below. What do you think about the characters so far? That's my question. Do you like Ingrid? Uh, do you like Eddie? Do you like uh, Jamal? Uh, which of the three is your favorite one? All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.